Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make your reference page in ASA. So first off, just go ahead and name it something like references and keep it all caps going with your um, subheads. And then you can go ahead and dive right in with the author's um, last name. You're going to go ahead and do it in alphabetical order for all the author's last names and do that also for um, when you're listing all of your references. Um, make sure that they're all in order of the first author's last name. And I'm going to go ahead and start off and show you guys how to do a journal article first and then a book. So when you're doing a journal article, you're just going to go ahead and start off with the first author's last name. Like I said, make sure you don't have caps lock. Um, and let's just say it's Johnson, Samuel, and then you're going to put the middle initial, a period, and then a comma. I know it's a little funky. And then you're going to spell out and, and then put the next author's first name. And then let's say they have a middle initial listed. You'll go ahead and put that and then a period. And then you'll go ahead and put the year and then a period and then go ahead and start uh, spelling out the title. And then you'll put that in quotations. And then a period and then close out those quotes. And then you're going to go ahead and put the name of the publication in italics. And then a period after that, um, actually no period after that, sorry, my bad. And then you're going to just go ahead and put that in italics and then just go right in to the volume number and then the issue number. And then you're going to make sure that that's not in italics. Just go ahead and put the volume number, let's just say 96, and then issue number in parentheses and then a colon and then the page number. Let's just say it's 277, 2280 and then you'll put a period after that. And then you're not quite done. What you're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and make your hanging indent. Um, click the view portion of your menu and make sure that your ruler is checked and in view. Mine already is. And then take the bottom arrow, just the bottom one, and drag it halfway to the one. Not all the way to the one, but just halfway. And then you'll be good there. It can be kind of tricky, so make sure that it's just on the halfway tick mark. And then um, you're all good for your journal article. And then what we're going to do is, let's just say you have a book now, you can dive right into the author's last name again. Let's just say it's Smith this time. And then put the first name. And then let's just say um, there's only two, so you can just put um, the next one. And then you can go ahead and put the year and make sure you put periods after that. And then you're going to go ahead and put the name of the publication in italics. Let's just say it's why millennials can't put down their smartphones. And then a period after that, and then you're going to put the location on the publisher. Let's just say it's Berkeley. And as you can see, the hanging indent will just do it for you after you've done it once. So that's really nice. And then um, you do a comma and then the state and then you'll put a colon and then the um, name of the publisher. So just to go over what we've learned so far, um, as you can see for a journal article we have right here. We have author one, last name inverted, author two, um, full last name, not inverted, and then if there is an author three, year, title of the article, name of publication, volume number, issue number, page numbers, and then for a book, um, you have the same idea as we did up there. Um, we have author one, last name, not inverted, author two, not inverted, and then if there's an author three, year, name of publication, location of publisher, and publisher's name. And just to go show you guys an example, um, this is just an article um, about the extended family and children's educational success. Um, so as you can see, this is a real journal article and you can kind of see the same types of references that we were just going over. So we have the hanging indent, um, we have our italics, things in quotes like we we're talking about, we have the year, more than one author, you know, we have our middle initial, you know, the page numbers, and everything that we've kind of learned. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.